Today we are going to assemble a healthy glow with the Leon Lee fan selection. First of all, we'll go over the parts that you should receive in your kit. Uh, we have the bottom, the side, the top, the other side with the power cords coming through it already assembled. When you get your kit, you'll have several wires sometimes. The wiring harness with these plugs are used on several other things like the computers and stuff. So we really don't use those two. You see they have the, the plugs on it, the cover. So just avoid those. This has got the fan for the power. These kind of plugins, can you see that? We have a serial that goes to one of the controllers. We have the power plug that goes to that. And then this one here is a controller for the lights. You can see the different plug-in on this one. Uh, the controller, the motherboard, the other serial port that goes to uh, the, the motherboard and the controller. We have our three Antec fans and our four Leon Lee fans. Two bungee cords. We have our pigtail that supplies the three Arctic fans to one connector on the motherboard. These are our feet, our cord connectors, hooks. One will go in the middle of this bottom piece and one will go in the middle of this blank side piece. Um, to put the fans on, we advise you to set your screens down on the ground or on the table. Go ahead and put your push pins in with your fan grills on. And then we'll take the fan, the side with the, uh, the guard that's built into it is the side that goes against the fan. We want to make sure that we have the cords come out where we can get to them. So we're gonna put them on the side. We're gonna put this on there. We push down with the heel of your hand, making sure the cords come out the side so they don't get caught up in the, the corner strips. You'll take one of these and put it on every other one. Like so. And then went on the, you can see this has the emblem on it. So it goes up like this. So we're gonna do every other one. So the bottom one will get the Leon Lee fan. And then our Antex will go on every other one. Make sure and press firmly. Check and see that they're all seated all the way down. Make sure you don't have any cords underneath there. And then we'll proceed, we'll put on our hooks. Doesn't make a difference which way you put your hook on. You just wanna make sure you're in the middle. You kind of go off your other fans there. That's for your bungee cord to attach to help keep it tight on your, your filter. Make sure your hook goes on the side with the two Molex connectors. Now we're going to put the side on. First, let's put our rubber feet on. We'll 
fill those. Put them as close as you can to the outside corners. And we'll set that like this. We'll put our power supply on. Make sure you put the name up. done here is we went ahead and attached our bungee cords that came with it go through one corner and we'll just tie a knot in the top of the cord so we'll pull through we'll do that over to the opposite corner and the same thing on the side so that this will pull over to here let's go ahead and set this on here for right now easier okay so now you can see where your bungee cords are going to go these will go over to here this one will go down in the middle down to this hook That'll give you tension for your filters. I know that looks like it's pulling a lot, but it's not really. You can see by the way of the fans. So when we go to hook up the lights, we're going to take our motherboard. We're just going to set it in here. It does have sticky tape on the back. You can unpeel it and, and set it somewhere, but you don't want to do that until you have all of your stuff ran. Uh, the serial port. It has an L on one side. That L will help you decide where it goes in here. And you'll notice that these also have an L and they just slide together like that. Do the other serial connector. It has an L on it, slot in this connector. go together like that. Now as you can see the different plugs on the end. So you can tell this plug has to go to your controller. And on the end of that plug, it'll have two little notches. And those notches will go up you can look in the end of there and see where that how they go this cord here will run the motherboard so you'll see the connector on the end of it it has a fan hub but it also has a, the connector here with the two wide slotted spots and that'll go into your motherboard right there. Nice and snug. Okay, from that, you'll notice that your fans have this kind of connector and this kind of connector. This one's for the lights. This one's for power to run the fan.
So here we have some of our wiring that comes with the unit. You see there's a couple different pieces here. Once again, you'll notice this, if you have that kind of connector, that's for the lights. This connector here, with the wider slots on top, will go into the end of your controller. Just like that. This unit will take your first fan. There's a notch on the top and there's a little catch there. So they plug in like this. Now let's start back here with the end. Okay, you hear it click. Go to the next one. Okay, you hear it click. Now, since there are four lighted fans, we have to use this extender. So when you have your last connector, that is where you'll plug in your extender, like that. And that will give you the ability to plug in your last two lights. Once again, it's that cord there. Intel clicks. And one more time with this one down here. And yes, you will have two extra slots that you will not use. So now we'll take the other cord on each one of the fans. You can see the connector on it. That little white spot on the bottom will go against that part there, just like that. Okay, we're gonna plug the next light in. And it doesn't matter which, which bank you use We'll plug it in there, go to our next one, we'll plug it in, make sure you've got it turned over to where the slot is with the, the catch on the bottom to help you line it up. It'll go in, then we have our last lighted fan, and it'll go in. That brings us to our three to one fan hub that'll, once again, it'll go in just like that. Now those three will take and plug in to the Arctic, the black Arctic fans. Once again, it's the same plug-in. You, you'll ha you only need the two pin for power these are four pin holders, so it doesn't matter that there's a blank on the outside because it's not used in this process. Once again, we just plug it in, take our last one over here and plug it in. Okay, you can see that you have an extra spot here. You have Two extra ones there, they don't get used. So before we go any further, let's plug this in and see how it works. Should take just a second before they turn on. Watch your cords. That's what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our wire ties, our zip ties, we're gonna bundle this up so that the cords can get into the fans. You can take your controller, you'll see two arrows on there. One of them changes the colors. One of them is the speed for which that they change or flash, change colors. Now there's several different 
scenarios there that you can get. You can just play with that all day long and find something that you like, different colors. We'll go through some here just to show you. When it's in the green, you're changing the lights. When you go up here and hit this M button, it changes to blue on your controller. Now you're, you can go up or down with how fast your lights change. So go back to green. You can see how fast they're changing colors there. We go back and hit the blue, turn it into blue. We can go, we can slow it down or we can make it super fast. Back to that, we'll try to get it more of a rainbow color. Something along that line, slowly. And I think we've got it. So now we're gonna take our foam and the foam will only be applied on the side panels, about a quarter inch in. If your filter doesn't seem like it's fitting just right, there's a cutout on these corner strips. Your filter should go up and hit that. Sometimes people have gotten the filter on top of it and then they see a big gap in there. But once you get it situated in here with your foam, we'll show you here in just a second. Let me tie this all up here. So as you can see, we've bundled our wires up with our zip ties. The big bundle's got the white zip tie. You wanna just pull all your cords to, so that they, there's enough slack left in them that, that they won't get caught in the fans no matter what position it gets put in. So you've got it set here something like this. We went ahead and put our foam in. We've got eighth inch foam on each side, just on the side panel. I'll turn it around to show you where, this is what it looks like when your foam's in, when, it, when you have your filter in right. And I'll show you putting in the other side. Uh, your filters have an air on them which way the airflow goes. So you always want the fans blowing out, the air sucked into the filters, so you always want your arrows to go to the inside. So you go, remember your little steps down here. So you go put your filter in, you have plenty of room to pull your sides out to get it to fit in. This is where uh, table knife or a petty knife works pretty good but you, there's enough slack in here that you can pull your fan up and your filter will slip right in and there we have it you're seated in plug it in one more time takes just a second for it to come on and there we go a healthy glow. So with the Leon Lee fans on the seven fan design for the healthy glow, you'll, you'll receive around 350 cubic feet of air a minute, which on a normal size living room would be four to six air changes.